Holla love, holla love, got cold, I don't know. I'm my friends, I'm my friends, turn a fold, I don't know. 40 in, 40 in, saw go, saw go. What you six? Yeah, yeah, better know, better know it. Times change, time change, people change, they gon' change, they gon' love you, then they hate you, yeah, it's strange. Yeah, that's right, saw you out, saw you out, for some change, yeah, yeah. They go crazy for that money, they don't range, hey. Don't forgive them, cause they know now what they do. They do. Messing with a prince, they ain't even got a clue. They don't. Blind them with the light when they see me coming through. And I ain't a cut, trust me, tell them this ain't nothing new. This ain't nothing new. Watch your back, gotta watch. Watch your back, gotta watch. Keep the circle tight, dog, never slack, never loose. Do your friends, do you know? Got your back, got your back. I know the ones around me, yeah, I'm keeping track. Holla love, holla love, got cold, I don't know. I'm my friends, I'm my friends, turn a fold, I don't know. 40 in, 40 in, saw go, saw go, what you six? Yeah, yeah, better know, better know it. Holla love, holla love, got cold, I don't know. I'm my friends, I'm my friends, turn a fold, I don't know. 40 in, 40 in, saw go, saw go, what you six? Yeah, yeah, better know, yeah. Never take a word, show me how you getting down, yeah. Is you with it when a man up and when he down? Is it considered unrighteous to pray a good prayer for someone of another nation? For example, the heathen whom you work with, etc., and who's always helpful and shows kindness towards you, would and does the Most High honor an Israelite's prayer on behalf of a heathen? Okay. Um, now, now... Let me probably go to, um, where is it at? Timothy, right? Now, I hope this question ain't laced with, I love the other nations. And there's some good uh, white folk out there, some good Elamites. I hope the question ain't laced with that because that's not what's going on with your situation. I'm going to let you know that right now, Okay. Uh, all right. Um, first Timothy, is that what I want? Yep. First Timothy chapter two, and let's read verse one or down to three. First, Tim- first Timothy chapter two and verse one. I exhort therefore that first of all, supplications, prayers, intercessions, and giving of thanks be made for all men, for kings and for all that are in authority. For all that are in authority. <laughs> that we may lead a quiet and peaceful life in all godliness and honesty. For this is good and acceptable in the sight of our God, our Savior. Now, understanding when you're praying for uh, other nations, you see, for kings and for all that are in authority, that we may lead a quiet and peaceable life. That's the main reason that you're praying for other nations. That kings and uh, those in authority is like presidents or governors and things of that nature that literally have control over your life as a um, as a, a captive in a land that's not yours. They can pass legislation to to make it hard on Israel all throughout wherever you at, which they do secretly already um, in different ways. Um, but a lot of times you might have somebody that's, um, uh, quote unquote, a good leader base man that the Lord set up. Lord said, pray for him, uh, that he stays in power. However long the Lord allows him to be in power. So you don't get somebody replacement like what you got right now. You you see what I'm saying? That's a different thing of when you praying for for other days go ahead cap with your your precept you got yeah real quick hey shalom israel uh go to uh psalms 106 start at verse 41 and 46 right because i know that that happens a lot you get you get a good slave master or a mm-hmm. good boss man good co-worker but like captain was bringing out is yes your prayer should be because the most high empowered that person to be in that position yep. to render that good unto you all right, we're going to get the proof here. Uh, Psalms 106, verse 41. Psalms chapter 106 and verse 41. Watch this. And he gave them into the hand of the heathen. He gave us, the Israelites, into the hand of the heathen. Come on. And they that hated them ruled over them. They that hated them, because at the end of the day, the other nations still hate you. 
I remember uh, Muhammad Ali had a little uh, interview when he asked them, yeah. uh, is all white folks evil? He said, if you had 100 snakes, uh, <laughs> deadly snakes coming at you, and uh, 20 of those snakes separated and formed a barrier over you, would you wait to see if those snakes um, would save you? Yeah. Or would you still close the door and shut the door on all the snakes? You would shut the door no matter right. what. They all snakes. Yep. Watch this, read. Their enemies also oppressed them, and they were and they were brought into subjection under their hand. Come on. Many times did he deliver them. Many times. Come on. But they provoked him with their counsel and were brought low for their iniquity. Read. Nevertheless, he regarded their afflictions. He regarded their afflictions. Nevertheless, he regarded their afflictions. Come on. When he heard their cry. And he remembered for them this, his covenant. Come on. And repented according to the multitude of his mercy. Verse 46 is the point. He made them also to be pitied of all those that carried them captive. You hear that? He caused them to be pitied, meaning the oppressors saw us chained up. Wherever uh, our lowest state we were, we were uh, still pitied by the, our oppressors. Meaning they was like, you know what? You know, uh, take yeah. those chains off. Bring them in the house. Right. You give them, the, you know, the leftover of the food. Okay, so that's that's what's what's happening here. That happened throughout all our captivities. It happened to Joseph. It happened to Daniel. Yep. It happened to all our forefathers. That's what you're seeing here. They called the Most High softened their heart, where our oppressors were like, you know what? Let me give this person a try. Let me do something. Y'all know something about you. There's something about you is the Lord yeah. is moving our oppressors to pity us in our lower state. Now, um, I got one, Cap. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> Hey, fix my mic. It's fixed. No, it's not. But uh, get uh, Proverbs 16 and 7. 16 and 7. Like you said, uh, those that keep the Lord's commandments, right? You're saying that, oh, you're trying to uh, uh, pray for uh, the other nation. Hey, fix it, as an I. Sounds real bad. All right? So one thing you got to know, the most high, because you keep his commandments, the enemy, well, the other nations that's around you, most I say, listen, I'm going to bless you. Because you keeping my commandments. I'm going to go ahead and have these nations give you some stuff that you need. That's some good stuff. And believe it or not, like a lot of times, especially in the job, we need some good stuff going on. Read that. Proverbs chapter 16 and verse 7. When a man's ways please the Lord. So when you keep God's commandments, that's pleasing the Lord. You read that in 1 John. Go ahead. He maketh even his enemies to be at peace with him. To be at peace with you. They be at peace because what? And the John said, listen, you want this high holiday off? You know what? You came and he did this for me. You know what? I'm going to give you that no more. I'm going to give you that Sabbath for you. Matter of fact, the whole year, take the Sabbath off for the whole year. Most of does that because what? You're doing what you supposed to do for the Lord. So with that, he said, listen, I'm going to have these enemies bless you, these other nations. So that's something you can keep in mind as well. Uh, here, here we go. Go to uh, Jeremiah 15 and 11. So, so understand that, that that's coming from the Lord, okay? Um, ain't, ain't none of them good. The Lord made them how he made them. <laughs> and I, all of us need to realize this. They smile in your face. You keep this in your mind. Uh, read Jeremiah 15 and 11. Jeremiah chapter 15 and verse 11. The Lord said, Verily it shall be well with thy remnant. Verily, I will cause the, the enemy to entreat thee well in the time of evil and in, thy, in the time of affliction. I hope he's writing these precepts down. Because <laughs> that treating you well is coming of the Lord. Do something out of pocket that they don't agree with. And watch their true spirit show through. The Lord will remind you, this is how I made them. The only reason we get treated good by any of our oppressors is of the Lord. Perfect example. Remember when the OJ trial was going on. Everybody was nice, but let when that verdict dropped. Oh, woo! What happened? You was all <laughs> niggers. You was all niggers. We uh, got that Muhammad Ali video? Drop that real quick yeah, so you can up. see what we talk about. Many white people who mean right and in heart want to do right. But there are so few. If 10,000 rattlesnakes was coming down that aisle now, and I had a door here I could shut, and in that 10,000, 1,000 meant right. 1,000 rattlesnakes didn't want to bite me. I knew they were good. Should I let all these rattlesnakes come down, hoping that that 1,000 get together and farm a shield? Or should I just close the door and stay safe? 
I think that you understand the I Viet understand. Cong are not all bad, but America's still dropping bombs. In Hiroshima, mm. Japan wasn't bad, but she still dropped the bomb. In Korea, they weren't bad, but they still dropped the bomb. Dang. So now I'm going to forget the 400 years of lynching and killing and raping and depriving my people of freedom, justice, equality, the first fire, last high, the lowest of low, last respected. And I'm going to look at two or three white people who are trying to do right and don't see the other million trying to kill me. Hey. <laughs> I'm not that big of a fool, and I'm not going to deny it. I believe everything. That's heavy. That's anyway. heavy. That was heavy. He was in the spirit. He knew what he was talking about. Um, hey, Cap, yeah. uh, didn't, uh, um, what's his name, um, uh, Mark, uh, what's his name, Malcolm X say, damn, why is my mic is still on? Just, just go ahead, man. Yeah, Malcolm X. Didn't he say something similar like that? He said, listen, just because the so-called white man as far as it, one of them smiles at you, but down south, they grin at you, but they both got the same mind. They yeah. both evil. Yeah. They both evil. He says something like they stick a knife in your back. Yeah, and that's then, it. Um, you think you think it's uh, progress right. when they pull it out two or three inches, but the knife is still in your back. Yes, that's it. Right? I talked it up wrong, but that was um, it. Go to Habakkuk chapter two. Now, if this happens to be an Edomite, right? They, you know... The, na they, the nations ain't too much different, but if it happens to be an Edomite, uh, Habakkuk chapter 2, just want to remind you of this. Uh, read verse 4. Habakkuk chapter 2 and verse 4. Behold, his soul which is lifted up is not upright in him. God says his soul is not upright in him. And who makes the soul the most high? The Most High is letting you know the soul in the people is not right. And the only reason that it is laying dormant right now to treat us halfway decent, it is of the Lord's mercies that we are not consumed. Um, let me show you. Let me show you this. Because uh, here's the spirit. Verse 5. This is the spirit that's in them. That's why it said his soul is not upright. Read that. Verse 5. Yea, also, because he transgresseth by wine. He is a proud man, neither keeping at home. So he's proud. Wine means lies. He don't stay at home. Go ahead. Who enlargeth his desire as hell. As hell. Captivity. Go ahead. And is as death. That's the spirit in them. They love death. They don't mind blood. Read on. And cannot be satisfied. They want everything. Go ahead. But gathereth, but gathereth unto him all nations and heapeth unto him all people. Now that's the spirit that is in them that ain't upright. Now go to uh, Ecclesiastes chapter 7, verse 13. Show you what God says about that spirit that ain't upright dealing with them, right? Ecclesiastes chapter 7 and verse 18. 13. 13. Consider the work of God, for who can make that straight? which he hath made crooked. God is asking you that. <laughs> what can you make straight? You can't change them. You can't change these other nations. The only mercy that you get is from the Lord. Right? So when you step out of line, the Lord will remind you who your enemies are. Um, you can also go to, um, what is that? Ecclesiastes 1 and 15. I like that precept too. Boo. Ecclesiastes chapter 1 and verse 15. That which is crooked cannot be made straight. God tell you, it cannot make it straight. That's something we got to come to a real, have a reborn mind. You can't save them. You can't change them. None of the nations, that's how they are. And that's how they're going to be. You might get one that be nice to you now in this um, uh uh, a, a amalgamation society, this great melting pot that has heaped all nations unto himself, and you got one of those people that are down to earth. No, man, I ain't racist. I got black friends. I got this kind of friend. I got all kind of nations, friend. I love everybody. Tell them that God only loves Israel and the kingdom of heavens for us and see what they say. No, 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 I don't believe that. I don't believe that. Boom, there you go. You're my enemy. Off top. Well, understand the, that. And another thing, with this uh, stimulus check that just dropped, <laughs> <laughs> you're going to have people that was all 100% 100 black power. Next thing you know, they out voting. Yep. For good old chump. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Watch. I'm telling Chef, you. I like that. That's a good thing. 
Um, what did I just tell you go to? Um, that was first. Uh, that was Ecclesiastes chapter one. Okay. And 15. Hey, let's go to uh, Sirach chapter twelve, verse ten. Don't want to give you some reminders. Sirach chapter twelve and verse ten. We great get in, get out. Never trust thine enemy, for like as iron rusteth, so is his wickedness. Now understand this: um, if he's of another nation, he has been your enemy since the Lord made him. It has not changed. We uh, we are just now in an era where we have uh, grace from the Most High. He has delivered us out of hard bondage, but we still in bondage, waiting to be delivered. Read on. Though he humble himself and go crouching, yet take good heed and beware of him. So you take good heed, although he's your friend, or he you seem to get along. Y'all got some things in common. Read on. And thou shalt and thou shalt be unto him as if thou hast wiped a looking glass, and thou shalt know that his rust have not been altogether wiped away. So what he's saying is that he may seem good for a while, but when you peel back the onion, you're gonna see the true colors on like that. You ain't really you ain't changed. You just like your forefathers. Read on. Set him not by thee, lest when he have overthrown thee, he stand up in thy place. Now, understand, we got to work with him. Uh, we got to be around him in certain situations, but uh, that's where it stops at. Um, I got to be around you here, and even while we're here, I keep my distance from you. That's it. We ain't having no phone conversations. You ain't coming over the house. I don't want to come to your cookouts. I don't want to come by and watch no game with you. I don't want to come by and watch nothing with you. God says, set him not by you. Because what happens is you get too close to this individual, you praying good prayers for him, your spirit going to end up turning and you're going to be, uh, you're going to end up assimilating and being just like him. Yep. Repentance is for all. Jesus said, God love everybody. You're going to start trimming your ways. God, uh, that's why God told us to separate from them. It happened all throughout the history. Whenever we got around the heathen, what did we do? We learned their works. So you better watch your distance with them. Watch yourself with them. Uh, now getting back to what we first read in Timothy. For those that be in power, go to Baruch chapter 1. Baruch chapter 1, and let's read 9 through 11. Baruch chapter 1 and verse 9. We're going to read down for down the... 12. After that, Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, had carried away Jeconias and the princes and the captives and the mighty men and the people of the land from Jerusalem and brought them unto Babylon. And they said, Behold, we have sent you money to buy you burnt offerings and sin offerings and incense and, and prepare ye manna and offer upon the altar of the Lord our God and pray for the life of Nebuchadnezzar king of Babylon king of Babylon pray for the king of Babylon for what reason and for the life of Belshazzar his son Be yeah Belshazzar Belshazzar his son that their days may be upon earth as the days of heaven. That what? Like Timothy said, Paul said to Timothy that we may lead quiet and peaceable lives. Because as long as they are allowing us to serve the Lord, ain't doing nothing to us, making our um our captivity harder than it already is, not being in our own land, Lord, keep them where they are so we can serve you until our punishment is up. Cause what happened is you uh, you get a you you pray oh I don't like what he's doing with with this one thing the Lord like oh okay you want something different I'm gonna move him out the way and give you somebody harder read on and the Lord will give us strength and lighten our eyes and we shall live under the shadow of Nebuchadnezzar king of Babylon and under the shadow of Belshazzar his son. And we shall serve them many days and find favor in their sight. And find favor in their sight. That's when you begin to pray for your enemies, when they are allowing you to serve God peacefully. Other than that, why would you waste a prayer on another nation? Why? We used to scream black power. While Heron was pushed 
But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we're men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.